Hey guys, welcome to the Linux course. So now uh, this is the final part of the first module, which is header file of shell script using Shebang. So the name of the header file, header part of a shell script is called Shebang, which is the hash and exclamation marks together. So this is one of the most important things you have to know before starting off with Linux, because in Linux you do shell scripting. So for shell scripting, this is one of the important things you'll have to understand. So first, hashtag and exclamation together. So this represents which interpreter or script should be interpreted with. So using this uh, shebang header, you can mention what is the interpreter. So normally in this particular operating system, which is CentOS 8. So here bash is the shell. So you can just type in hash uh, exclamation slash bin slash bash and then start typing your shell script so that when you run the shell script, the shell will automatically understand this should be run in bash or if you put hash exclamation slash bash slash uh, csh if you type in a different shell if the shell is installed in your particular machine then it will use that shell to execute your shell script so this is how it works so the last one is uh, bin slash bash is this not provider if it it often considers bin slash sh so sh is the most basic format so normally if you do not provide the header file for a shell script it automatically considers it as a normal shell script and it uses the default shell and it uses that to execute that shell script when you put that particular uh, shell script shebang header so hash exclamation slash bin slash bash in your script so that particular kernel will understand that it should be executed in bash and it will be executed so this is the use of shebang and coming down so this is a small script the small shell script so you can see the use of the shebang over there it understands it is bash and echo this is a sample script so sh using sh or using bash there are various ways to run a particular uh, script file i'll show that so this is the sample script okay so this is a sample script let us go to our system and run it off so okay so first you will have to create a file so i'm going to create a file nano let me just type in one dot sh I've opened the file so hash exclamation slash bin slash bash echo hello oh so this is going to be my script file I'm saving it so I've saved it so the first way of executing this is using sh second way is using bash third way is pretty simple dot slash so for this you will have to be the root user so again it's showing some error command not found so so that is the basic way of uh, doing it or you can do one more thing. Um, so let me do another file, create another file. So I'm going to type in just echo, hello, and saving it. So now there is a 1.sh and a 2.sh file. So if I do this, it's showing hello, even though I did not enter a shebang file because it is stored in a format called .sh and also I'm running it using sh. So basically it assumes it as a shell file and it uses the shell to interpret it. So you don't need to always mention the shebang uh, header file, but when there is a need, when there is, when it is a huge shell script, then I suggest you to insert it so that your particular shell script is considered as a shell script because you might uh, copy the shell script and use it in some other shell. And at that time without the shell uh, header, it will not know that it is a shell file. So that's why you'll have to use that. So guys, we've uh, come to the end of this particular module. So thank you, meet you in the next module. So we've done all of this. So I'll just open the agenda. So this is what we did in the session. So we went to a quick introduction, then basics of shell, basics of kernel, some basic commands. And we also learned other basic commands, echo, setting and unsetting, EXPR and the shebang header. So meet you in the next session. Thank you.